will not be tagged here. We'll get back to these calls a lot on Daniel Jones. Uh, I do have a question for you, Sal. Yeah. All right. So we're talking about Jones, and I believe is the week one starter to the chagrin of not everybody. Actually, there's mm. more Jones supporters than I thought Which we would have insane. so far. It's insane to me. I thought we were over it together. Let's move on as a group, as a city. It is over for Daniel Jones and the Giants. But there are some Daniel Jones believers still out there. So we both know that Jones is on the team next year. We both strongly think that they're going to draft the quarterback in round one. Fair? I hope. Yes. Yeah, okay. Unless it's just too much and the guy that they really want is gone and blah, blah, blah. The reason I say I hope is because I, as much as I think that they would want to trade up, who are they trading up with? Yeah, yeah, that does complicate things. The Patriots, said, yeah, no, like, we to talked me, the about Patriots this. For yep. sure, yep. taking a quarterback. Mm-hmm. The Bears, for sure, are taking Caleb Williams. Yep. Are the the Commanders are? They, they well, absolutely if they don't believe are. In, if they don't believe in Sam Howell, then they are. They are. And then and then what? Like, is New England? I don't if, know. If you, I mean, it's either New England or Washington, and I believe that. Like, how are the Patriots not going to take a quarterback? Well, at that point, maybe the Giants could drop back. And maybe take somebody yeah. like McCarty. Oh, either way, there's, there's okay, still Okay, anyway, they need a quarterback. Okay, yes. so Jones is here. We both think they'll draft a quarterback, though not 100% guaranteed, but probably very likely will. Who do you believe, or let me actually give you the name, under those, under those or under that situation, Jones, top pick, is DeVito the backup? Like, Tyrod's mm, gone. I probably think they're going to get another backup. All right. I think. Oh, I mean, unless you say... I mean, yeah. if he's your third. Well, now that you say it, right, but then it comes into the scenario, what what happens in the likely case that Jones gets hurt again? I would say, when does it happen? Is it week one? Is it during the summer? Is it week eight, when maybe the rookie's better equipped like to play? Rookie, it's tough to answer that. Is the rookie or DeVito going to be QB3? You know, whether we like DeVito or not, they don't. Like, they like him as a, a third-string quarterback. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Do they like him or not? And that, we don't need to resolve this now. Just curious, because there was, you know, the, the whole DeVito... Nuttiness, yeah. and then, you know, I, I think it was a bit overstated, but it was fun. It was cool. We I were do, rooting for him. Yeah, I, I do think he's going to stick around here, and they're going to draft a quarterback, so that's probably your three. I'm more concerned right now, BT, before we get back to the calls, yeah. about what the future with Barkley is going to be. Do you think that this is the end here? I know you said they weren't going to franchise tag him, but some of the reports are seeing it as it happened now on social media. Some of the people who cover the team, whether it's Jordan Ronan of uh, ESPN, yep. Pat Leonard of Daily News, they seem to think that it's more likely Barkley gets a better deal elsewhere. He might. Um, I th- And I said this two weeks, uh, no, a week ago when, when the cap exploded. I said, as long as the Giants are fair, and these are the exact words I used, if the Giants are fair and Saquon is realistic, he'll remain with the Giants. If he goes to squeeze out that extra 8, 9, 10%, and I don't begrudge him for doing that, he's gone. The Giants will not cave, nor should they. You've lost a lot with him. It's been a little bit banged up, but he is still dynamic enough for sure. You try to get this done. Now, if the cap didn't didn't explode, there's nothing to talk about. He's gone. I think there's really, there's a way to intersect, you know, his, I think, desire to remain with the Giants and the Giants need for him to stay. Right. But they're dynamic players. They got done. I know. I can run about it. I, I Walter's love, done. Yeah, I love Barkley, but we know what the least important position on the field is. I know. Like, yeah. I'm not, I'm not, as much as I love him and think he's important here, and I want the Giants to sign Saquon Barkley personally because I love watching him. Yep. I lo- he's a great human being on top of being a great player. So I'd love to see him be a lifelong Giant, be the face of that franchise along with whoever the rookie quarterback is. However, does it make more sense for the Giants to maybe let him go and use that money elsewhere and just draft a, a running might, back. They, listen, it might. I'm not going to say that and, it, it might. And for Barkley, like let's just say the Houston Texans, whoever, want to go out there and pay him what he believes he's worth for an extended period mm-hmm. or just get, period, the best deal possible. Yep. You know. Yeah, I, I think Saquon also wants to win. And well, he's not going to do that here. Uh, that's what I'm saying. So, you know, we keep talking as if the motivation, you know, this, this unrelenting desire to stay a Giant – and I believe that there's a lot of that that exists. I believe he loves playing here. I you think do. He, you think some of that lost its luster after last year's issue? I, I, you know what I think's happened? Bus- the fact that it's a business. Now, we've always known it's a business, but he he's known it's a business now for the last year. He learned. Oh, okay, he learned. He learned the hard way. Okay, I'm going to go out there and give you everything I've got yep. and, and be a model citizen, a great player, a, a great leader for this franchise, and that's how you're going to treat me? You're not going to be loyal. It's not reciprocated. It's sad, but that's the way the NFL is, and that is the worst thing about the NFL 
Uh, I think that, God, if I had to guess, I think, and this is also partially my hope speaking, I think they find a way to settle on something good for both. I, I do. don't know. Only because now, think about this. So let's say he gets, I don't know, just throwing out numbers, 13 a year. It's probably a bit high. Right. 12 change. It's about the percentage. And because the cap exploded by $30 million, that percentage still, it, it's, it would be less than last year with the tag. There's a way to do it's, it, but it's the Giants get, might about, not want him. It's going to be about guaranteed money. Yes, always is. For him. Oh, uh, for everybody. You, you would think the magic number is going to be, I would think, at least. 12? Well, I'm talking about long term. At oh, least 30, 30 million guaranteed? Uh, in at the least neighborhood. Like the next two years? In the neighborhood. Could he get more than that? Three years? Uh, probably not guaranteed. There's always some crazy team out there that probably values him more than his own team right, does, may- sadly. May- maybe he gets three or four years. Yep. And maybe he gets a third guaranteed. But, and if I'm him, you know, Giants probably aren't going to do that. They're not going to give him a third year guaranteed. Uh, it, it's, <sighs> they might not even give him a second year guaranteed. That's a tough call. Um, they might they might give him two years, but at less a you know less than the twelve million or thirteen million per. Put me up against it. I'm I'm going to say, but again, partly derived from hope that he stays, but far from convicted that he. My does. gut is that he's going to take. He's going to get a better contract elsewhere. Yep. I know he wants to be here, but what if he went? If he went to Dallas, right? I mean, would Giant fans just hate him? I don't know if you could hate Saquon. I, I tend to agree, but that uniform as a Giants fan that brings out the emotions that nobody's safe from. Right, but it's they a tough one. Yeah, I, well, they will. They will boo him. Mm-hmm. They're going to root against him. I don't know if hate. Like, I feel like I would have hated, and I did, Odell Beckham Jr. more than I would Saquon Barkley. And the Giant fans don't even hate Odell Beckham Jr. Well, because Odell act like a knucklehead half the time. Saquon's as class as they get. Correct. That's what I'm saying. Like, there's two, there's a big difference there. And it's not Saquon's fault. He wanted to be back. The Giants didn't offer him to come back. 